Hey guys, welcome to the inaugural episode of Opening Act, where we are no longer constrained by time, even though that really didn't stop me much after time restraints were lifted in the first place, but we're dropping the f first 15 minutes moniker and we're just moving on to the opening act. I just, I just think that sounds better. So, we're going to start things off with a bang. And it's as you can see, it's uh, 11.09 at night. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to bed for close to an hour, so we're going to get started with Skyward Sword. All right. Let the adventure begin. Alright, now that the introduction video is out of the way, let's begin.
Oh, good. Get, still get three. We'll just pick the top one, and we'll be Link, of course. Less killer whalish from this angle, and more from that angle. <laughs> and we'll always remember this was the 25th anniversary. What are they gonna do for later? Who knows, right? Oh. Orchestrated music. I'm so glad you're here now. You would have really saved Twilight Princess a lot if you'd existed <laughs> five years ago. Oh well. Subtitles? <laughs> I really do like this theme. What is this? Ugh. Oh my. It's time for you to awaken. Link. <laughs> That's an interesting way to open a game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. He's like, huh? Ow! <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> What's this? We got a letter! I know how much you like to sleep, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You're not keep me waiting, Zelda. Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> The Knight Academy. Look at that crazy thing. So we got dash and map. That doesn't do anything yet. Gear and help. Move with that. Reset the camera. Hold the dash. Shake the nunchuck to roll. Okay. How you turn off the uh, that crazy interface over there? I don't think I'll want that the whole time. I bet they'll tell me how to do it later. Let's roll for no reason. No, I guess I can't right now. Who's this guy? Hey, the day of the wings are is finally upon us. So maybe we learn to use. All those skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess Instructor Horwell taught you. Do you remember how to look around with C? <laughs> no, I'm impressed 
Wii Remote at the screen and press down. Okay, to rectify the situation. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa! That's different. I have clearly never done this before. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Groose's room. The restroom. <laughs> How about just getting out of here? That'd be good. No, I'm just kind of enjoying the music. Enjoying the atmosphere. What? Hey, it's Yellow Link. <laughs> oh. Alright, you do that. Okay, that's a little different. I'm used to uh, using the, uh... Using the control pad to... To mess with the camera. That's gonna be a. Oh, here I can just use that. There we go, that'll do it. Maybe this way? Nope. I always have enjoyed the music of the Zelda series because it's so, uh. What is this? Grease's room. Because it's so. melody focused. And so many games nowadays is, is ambiance focused. You know, and that's fine. They can do that. They probably need to do that. But, uh. Maybe I should have paid. Here, here's the door right here. It didn't look like it did. I was. Never mind. That was the door. Ignore everything I just did. That was the door. <laughs> also, I'm recording this in AVI. I have been doing everything in MPEG. Or. I think MPEG. I don't know. Whatever. So hopefully it'll look a little bit better. It may or it may not. I don't know. What is this thing? Save and quit. Save. Oh, let's, let's just save. Alright. We're all saved up. Now we don't have to find that door again. Up here! Who's up there? Oh. Hello. It's... Hello! Oh, what would you like to ask me about? Oh, they have a quick chat with me. Ooh. Hi, quick chat. Right. Yes, that, I just figured that out. Be able to climb up there if you dash, don't you think? Well, I suppose so. I'll do it. Oops. Because I really didn't have to dash too far. Yeah, I kind of like dashing around. I can jump. What do you call it? The auto jump. Oh yes, you auto jump. It has a nice ring to it. Oh, you crazy man. There. I have auto jumped. You have someone to meet? Oh, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. Father Headmaster Gapora has a pet named Mia. Mia, right? Yeah, Mia. And well, she scampered off again. So, you want me to go catch a bird or a... Oh. Whoops, yeah. 
Oh, alright. I'll go save a cat for you. I'm a cat person, so... Alright, no problem. Use the... Oh, this is draining my stamina, isn't it? Huh. Uh-oh. Ah! Well, I've now taken it upon myself. I must save this cat. Nothing else will do. We must save this cat. Why? Is that what Link would do? Is that what any self-respecting hero would do? I think it is. I missed it again! What am I doing wrong? Tell me, Link, what am I doing wrong? Oh well. This is a pretty good way to get used to the controls, though, I guess. I like not being restricted by time anymore, don't you guys? We can just chase a cat. Forever. Isn't that fantastic? Now, is there another way I need to go? Like, where? See another way. Oops. Hmm. Maybe we need a better running start. Yeah, that's what we needed. Now we can climb these vines. Whoops. And try to catch this. Hey, Luke! Jumper, you are. What? I know he's. Grab it with A and use it as a platform. You can climb by pressing A, or by just walking up to it. Yeah. There we go. Whoops. Since they have it indented, you can easily tell where it goes. Whoops. Oh, it's not quite there yet, is it? There we go. Get up there, bud. Here we go. We've now saved this cat creature. Meow. I don't want to throw the cat. Meow. There we go. There you go. Yes, of course I did. Yes, you should feed the cat you're supposed to feed. Well, should I tell him? Or should I go find my girlfriend? Oh. I guess... I guess this works. This all works out being about the same, I guess. So we saved a cat. I think that's save-worthy, don't you? Who wouldn't? Up we go. Run, Link, run. Run, run. All right.
announced today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. That's a lofty role, isn't it? It's just like the one the goddess was said to have had in the legends. He says it's called a harp. <laughs> I made this wrap myself when we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. <laughs> So I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. So how do I look? Nice costume. Great. Uh, great. Of course. I think so too. So I know you agree. It's father. Outstanding. Capacity for sleep. <laughs> Not today's ceremony had you excited to close your eyes for once. Uh, not exactly. Say in the post-race ritual was Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yeah, about that. I don't know if he can do it. You don't? I have it? Even when he's out riding his lost wing, you're slowly gliding around, probably daydreaming. He's got to be in perfect control of his bird to win. Mm -hmm. No need to worry. Today's <laughs> skill as a rider, as well as his bond to his bird, victory will not come easily. I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. So you're both very little. Sure, than a friend. <laughs> sure, special connection. Never seen anything quite like it. So, basically, he's the hero, so he's going to win. Huh. That's kind of a neat story. Crimson, a, a breed so rare we were sure for a time it had vanished from the line. Huh. Well, what a sight. Still doesn't change the fact that he didn't practice. <laughs> Messes up his chance. What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, it will be fine. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Here we go. Jump off the edge and call your bird. It's almost time for the ceremony. So, Brian Rack is seriously for once. Oh, yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. <laughs> Trying to weasel out of practice. Nice drive. You're not fooling me. Off you go. Uh, hope he shows up, or this will be a very short game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm, this bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. What could it be? Nope. <laughs> 
they just re I hope they release just the soundtrack to this game. Because I think I would buy it if they released it. Of course, if they released Super Mario Galaxy, I would have bought that too. This is very odd. What happened to your loft wing? It's unheard of. I have no idea. Nope. I should have believed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's right, woman. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's kind of the look he's giving her, though. That's right. Alright, now it's off to find my loft wing. A very noble eyed. Well, what does that even mean? It's just something I have to do. Should go explain the situation ahead and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so you can find your bird. Hmm. That's probably a good idea. You're the headmaster. I'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah. Uh, oh well. I'll explain the situation to myself. Good. That cuts out the middleman business, doesn't it? Well, it's been nearly half an hour since we started. And we got to see Zelda. We got to practice our bat flips and stuff. Actually, we're just now doing that. But, we got to see a little bit about what was new. We got to find which door we were supposed to go out of. Truly our first real challenge of this game. And we got to save a cat. So actually, you don't have to go talk to that instructor. Whoops. All you really have to do is head over here and talk in on these guys. And listen out on these guys. And what were, what did they do? So, he and his goons took the bird. What a jerk. Okay, so after we get through with the Grus cutscene, we come over here. And it's right in front of the training area. I talked to this guy. He was just looking for us. What's up? So he joined at the search and he asked this guy named Fledge what's going on. But if Gruz found out, I told you. So here we go, here's the truth. So anyway, before we leave today, I just wanted to make sure I gave you guys a look at all the features of Skyward Sword. Well, all of them you can find in the first 45 minutes or so. So, it wouldn't be Skyward Sword without taking a look at the sword, right? So, 
Here it is, in that blue chest back there. There it is, the practice sword has a sharp edge. Alright, let's go back out here. So it's really the sword play that separates Skyward Sword from the rest of the games in the Zelda series. And it works pretty well, but I'll be honest with you, I had a hard time using it when I was sitting down. When I was recording this, I was standing up. And I found it much easier to use when I was standing up. It may have to do with the lighting in my room as well, because I had to reset the cursor a bunch. So now I'm going to show you the spin attack. And of course do that by getting the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck and swinging them horizontally at the same time. So here we go with that. There we go. That works just fine. And now we're going to do the uh, Fatal Blow and it looks virtually the same as it did in Twilight Princess. Well, that was one of my favorite moves in Twilight Princess, I'll be honest with you. But, uh, there we go. And that piece of wood is dead. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> so you have full, you have full range of motion with that thing, and it's right now I'm just lifting over my head. And uh, you can do a vertical uh, slash attack or. What do they call that? Spin dash? Or... <laughs> spin attack. A vertical spin attack by doing it up and down. Spin dash. I just got three points on generations. So, there you go. So, and we need the sword to go looking for the bird, so he's going to let us have it. Which is very nice of him. And we just did all the practicing with the logs. So we are good to go, and I will meet you when we find our bird. Alright, we made it past the cave. Looks like Zelda's coming to help us. That's right. Alright, sounds like a plan, huh? Oops, I wonder what's going on with that. Hmm. There's my bird. I got him. Let's see. Nah. There we go. There we go. Now we have our loft wing back. I love that trombone sound. <sighs> no. Well, actually, I did. It sounded more like bells, but. Wonder what that could be about, Miss Zelda. Hmm. The surface, the old tale, strove a world under the under Skyloft.
That's right. Remember. You actually have to run. <laughs> if you just try to walk off, you can't do it. Because I've tried that before. <laughs> So now I'll show you a little bit about the show you a little bit of the loft wing stuff. To dive, you press you know hold the Wii remote down, pull up, and to fly up, you waggle the Wii remote a little bit. It works a little bit better when you're standing up. Or at least it does for me. I know that. What? Oh, I missed it. Good. Yep. He's fine, just fine. These are the last moves here, so. And of course, slow down. Yep. This brings us to the end of episode one of the opening act. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Skyward Sword for the Wii. I highly recommend it. And until the next episode, later.